Hi, Mommy. I saw your garden. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Your garden has lots of vegetables. I saw your corn, your zucchini. That's a lot of grass working. Well, you yeah, have a lot of weeds, but it's okay. Yeah. The vegetables are still growing. They got it, yes, no. It's nice. We got corn, we got zucchini, we got potato. I saw the potato. Cabbage, cauliflower, and then broccoli, tomato. Lettuce. I got a lot of things for spinach, for salad. Mm. Yeah. We'll make a salad today. You want to eat a salad today? Yeah, it will be good. Do you like working in the garden? Yes. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Feels good. Yeah. We're glad to help you in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> Come and help me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you need some help. It's a big garden. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yes, raw foods are very special in that um, they are very fresh, very vibrant. It's like from the sun into the leaves of the plant, right into your body. And so there's no um, like deadening of any part of it. So when that is released, it's very potent. And so that goes into our body. It's also very cleansing. Yeah. And when a food is cleansing, it means that um, the pathways for digestion and assimilation are well opened up and flowing properly. And when our energy is flowing properly, there's no uh, blockages, then we can feel that rush. Yeah, food can give you energy, but if there's blockage in the system, then it's not going where it should go. It's not making its way through. The intelligence is not being communicated. And so the energy becomes lost, it's like getting lost in dead pathways. So with this opening up of the energy pathways, this energy is able to quickly flood your system. So it's not only because of the energy it gives, but it's also because of the cleansing that takes place. Yeah, the system stays free and smooth flowing. And see how, you know, when you, when you grow it, look how every part is intact. When you buy it, it has traveled a little bit, it's been deadened a little bit by temperature changes, it's broken up a little bit, it's not the same. Yeah, but when it's from the garden right into you, and then there's a loving communication taking place all the time because it's your own, it feels <clears throat> it's already part of you even before you eat it. Yeah, so that kind of energetic is set up when we have when we grow our own food, and really, we should all you know, it's really wonderful to have a little kitchen garden, and um, we can do this even with a, a just a square yard of land, we can grow some things. Even if you have to make a box, kind of a raised box garden, it would be really wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. There's thousands of bees here. We've yes. got to bring Carola down to see it. Uh, 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 mowing, and then he noticed, he noticed. When he was doing, he smelled this really yeah. wonderful smell, and he stopped me. Looks like maybe he went over there yeah. one time. And he realized it was mint. Yeah, he kind of looked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. Thing. Yeah, and then look at these little yeah, orange flowers. Look at these.